Eu acho que o David Lee Roth Não de pra onde temos Certo? Dá sempre aqui Chocante, alarmamente Com frequência Ou é frequente, alarmamente I don't know, baby But we do speak your language Eu falo sua língua Right here I'm David Lee Roth This is the Mojo Dojo And you are tuned in direct Short distance from me to you Let's cut to the crash Right here at Club Dave what? <laughs> oh, nothing. I just want to shake it up. Out. You're good. You got to shake no. it up. Oh, you got to shake it up to make, make it. A uh, of yourself. Yeah. Damn it. And ruin your computer. All right, well, well, damn it. Yeah, we'll do it next time. Way to not yeah, do it well, in the spirit. You guys want some of, champagne anyway, of, though? Of diamond. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, welcome everybody to the uh, second episode of uh, Music Movies Tonight. We have a definitive uh, name for this thing. So we're talking about David Lee Roth's uh, No Holds Barbecue. I wanted to get some uh, barbecue over by be... I brought barbecue people. Well, I was going to say that and, and, uh, this video would almost just shame the barbecue. Like, like oh my God, <laughs> like it doesn't stand up like I'm sorry, barbecue. I'm bringing and subjecting you to this. And uh, this is something that Nate uh, found uh, at, uh, somehow. And we How, all thanked him for that. And we all thanked him greatly oh, for that. Absolutely. Um, it was uh, quite a journey. Um, there was uh, about an hour of unfiltered. Amazing footage. David Lee Roth. Just yeah yeah no just no no bars yeah. held no, no bars, bars held. no bars held at all yeah no i swear to god that's the thing that threw me off the most i was like am i watching the right thing <laughs> because there's no this is david barbecue it's just right into the samurai swing how would we how would we describe this in a nutshell to people that don't understand like first okay. of all who well maybe we should say who david lee roth is david lee roth is a is a 80s rock musician in uh and 70s and 70s oh well, late was 70s, 70s too? most definitely oh yeah yeah uh he's got unlimited energy uh for uh well i guess he's like maybe middle-aged at this point in the, in the 2002 when this come comes out yeah i think came he's out. like in his four, early 40s or mid 40s at this point probably. yeah yeah and he's playing around with a samurai sword he's like I wish I could. Right That's true. He's even got a staff. <laughs> you could actually be blind. Was he trying to be a Power Ranger? It's more for time. You know what? I, what? What I want to say about this is that it's like just watching some of that samurai footage that he does is like is like a real remembrance for me when I was like. 10 years old watching Power Rangers because my sister says yes. that's why she won't let her nephews yeah, watch it Yeah, because I was like punching stuff and kicking stuff. <laughs> he definitely has. You know, and it, I got that same vibe from him when, when, when yeah, he was like, a... like, man, I wish I could have done it. Yeah. It almost reminds me of like those those early like parkour videos where like people would like be doing parkour and they'd be like, oh, parkour! And they yeah. keep on doing parkour. And he's yeah. like doing these like what becomes signature stances throughout the video. That's true. He does he, a like, few. Let, he re, there's one where he like rests the sword over an arm. Yeah, of, while doing in a like kneeling state, like yeah. a crouch, like yeah. a like almost like a gangster rap crouch. Yeah, with like the sword over his. A yeah, really, yeah. really bad skateboarding video. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, no, a lot of this. I was surprised Just that the cut. skateboard didn't show up in this. There's Someone so, should have known. So many it. fish eye lenses. I, I totally and... thought we were gonna see David Lee Roth on a skateboard with a samurai sword going. <laughs> <laughs> they probably tried. Yeah, they just couldn't get it he work. really he missed he missed out on that opportunity. But maybe he was uh, worried about injury. Uh, I know David Lee Roth famously uh, the tried to get diamond, his, though. He tried to get his Wang uh, insured. Insuring your Wang is is not the worst idea I've heard. And I mean, especially with the kind of uh, uh, like <laughs> groupy world that he comes from, uh, as far as uh, or just swinging that sword around. <laughs> he doesn't make that look better than Steven Seagal, though. He he goes from that to like maybe let's say like five or six scenarios that flips between. What are they looking for though? Like they keep on like looking way at out. These barrels. <laughs> like there's an enemy within the yeah. tiny space of the barrel. Uh, in in a variety of either party modes or 
uh, uh, there's there's SWAT like team SWAT team SWAT team SEAL six stuff going on. There's these triplets. Oh, this they is what found they found the look, party. This is what they've been looking for. Okay. It, they look like the precogs from Minority Report. They do. <laughs> yeah. Well, we were wondering like why this was made first of all, uh, uh, and I think we we discovered that this was made as a uh, uh, electronic press kit originally, um, which is something in the two thousands where more like sense now. Yeah, it makes a little more, uh, just a little more sense. Well, I know it doesn't, it sounds like English, but I ain't making much sense. Not much. It's supposed to be like a video of sorts. Or what is this? Like, or is this for like an audience of the masses? It's. No. Press kit. Yeah, because like, that's the thing. Like, like, so it's supposedly made as a press kit, but like, it doesn't seem like. A lot of it is covers. A lot of it's covers. And a lot of it is, is... A lot of it has nothing to do with music. Right, and it's repetitious, too. So it's yeah. not like... There's nothing about this particularly that screams, like, the creative talent of David Lee Roth. It more so screams his ability to throw a $600,000 party. I this could be great. great. So my theory. He Dave, took the money, you... made dr got drugs, did a, a couple parties, just filmed the parties. Like, this is the project! Like, no, Dave, you just did a bunch of drugs and filming. it! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's another uh, note we should mention. That's, that, price uh, tag. Uh, that's, a, that's the price tag for how much he put into this that he project. Said this. And, I, and yeah. I'll tell you, I think most of the money was spent on the drugs. Oh, oh yes, yeah. party favors for days. Uh, there was the, I mean, uh, was we just dubbed a giant the party. cocaine trove, uh, where there was, they were kind of going Amazed. through all these tunnels with these, these giant uh, barrels all like around. Five-gallon drums on them. Yeah. Like you're invited to David Lee Roth's party, but only if you can get through his cocaine lab. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, yeah. We, we made the, the uh, uh, I think, assumption. reasonable assumption uh, that those were his cocaine barrels uh, throughout the years of his time in Van Halen. At the Mojo Dojo. Um, at the Mojo Dojo. Well, that happens at the Mojo Dojo. I'm David Lee Roth. This is the Mojo Dojo. We were always <laughs> at the Mojo Dojo. Mojo Dojo. Uh, and yeah, he, he, the, the Mojo Dojo parts, he, he, he will be talking to the camera, but yeah. like, he doesn't have a mic on. You feel like that's like the parts before the commercials and after the commercials sometimes. Yeah, except this didn't actually get aired, right? Right. Best as David Lee Roth, or at least it is tonight. I'm not myself, but who is? George truly David Lee Roth. Desafortunadamente, no hablo suficiente español para hablar con tú solamente en español. But I do speak music, baby, and we got plenty. I said plenty of nitro, fuel burning, top end screaming, dragster, rock band, babes, music, and the glue that holds us all together. Right here on the sweetest bunch the net has ever provided. I'm on burst mode. I don't know about you, baby, but this is Diamond Dave. Yours truly, David Lee Roth. In any language, and we do speak yours. Always right here at Club Dave Live from the Mojo Dojo. <laughs> Dude, it is early YouTube because they made his voice echo a couple times. David Lee Roth Live. It didn't so, actually, not to my knowledge, it might have, Yeah, but... They get three in the morning. But there is commercial breaks built it's in. even wiped from the Wikipedia page. No, no, no. I think he wants to forget this. I think the fans want to forget this. But, but we, we don't. Won't let you no, no, exists, this, though. There is a... There, I, I, I want to forget this. <laughs> there, there, is a, there is a tape, a VHF tape of this, yeah, yeah. like, selling on eBay for quite expensive, because it's rare. Yeah. Mm, so, yeah, okay, it's okay. rare. Yeah. But, yeah. Brad, if you had a music festival and you were sorting through tapes trying to find people, if yeah. you came across this, would be like, I'd pick it up. Oh, there you go. I, See, I, I, I'd pick this. This would be fun to throw on in the background at parties. I think. Yeah, let's let's go with that. This, yeah. the, like, because it's oh, there. It yeah. has the no. It, there's no uh, sort of cohesion between scenes. It switches between scenes very quickly. Violently. Violently switching between scenes. One time with a punch. <laughs> Get in line, you sluts. Whoa, mojo dojo. <laughs> well, yes, exactly. Like le legitimately violently. Yeah. yeah. It just constantly, he'll just like be doing like, you know, three minutes of something, and all of a sudden he'll punch at the screen and it's a new scene. He's a, ah! he's a samurai. He's a pirate. He's a seal. He's a, yeah. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's, he's a, a lot, singer. He's a jack of all trades. He's a lot of things. Yeah. Um, and, 
uh, uh, a lover of of uh, triplet girls and uh, possibly a, um, uh, a short man. And the guy with the oh, I'm sorry, the guy, I didn't want to forget the the guy with the gun. This you said new, this is a new setting, Brad, but I think it's actually just the ATV hallway catacombs thing built with water halfway. Ooh, oh. Navy Seals. Yeah. And um, we could conclude for, by the end of the video that he is a, a legs and ass guy. Hands? I gotta hand it to her. She's got a great ass. <laughs> um, there's a lot of gratuitous butt shots. Low most, camera. Most, most angles of, are from the waist. A lot of crotch looking shots. Looking upward. Um, we also joked about how it was... It's almost like a girls gone wild video like it's this with with all the partying and the gratuitous uh, nudity and drunkenness which that dates us probably but that probably dates yeah. us a bit it's sort of like it's sort of like a girls gone wild without as much of the wild huh yeah, yeah. it's like interesting those are just party videos that you but watch that does, where's yeah. the tits you know it's kind yeah. of what i'm wondering the whole time <laughs> let it all or maybe Probably it's a child. David maybe a child question. is running the camera. Yeah. You know? Which asks more not. questions. <laughs> Which does beg more questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, was the, what was the child And this video does in? not need more questions. Did he see the cocaine usage? <laughs> One of the things we were joking about a little bit, though, while uh, watching this was in some strange ways it's kind of ahead of its time we were, we were kind of talking about how like this is almost like a non-stop tiktok video poorly edited early youtube video i mean that that actually clicks because it's 2002 pre-twerking yeah pre-twerking we noticed that there was there was uh, almost twerking happening um we're on the verge of twerk. on the verge of twerk uh, uh the the triplet sisters and uh there was there was like i think two other ladies oh, that were a couple of yeah, 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 yeah. In various states of dress. But, but toned uh, down enough to be a press kit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There wasn't any actual the normal nudity. Uh, there was some side boob. There yeah, was yeah, some yeah. There uh, was... camel toe. There was uh -huh, uh -huh. some of that going on. Pretty much anything that you can get with shots. it. With, like, without an R rating. Consensual upstart yeah. photos. Hopefully. I, 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 well, I, mean, I they, hope so. Their faces weren't blurred. There was that one guitarist. There was one guy, yeah. It was blurred. Yeah, there was one guy who was like, I don't want to be associated with this. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I didn't Dan know video, what I was signing oh, up yeah, for. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was uh, uh, Tom Morello or something. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, a lot of parties, though. We did get a... We did find ourselves saying, like, this would be fun. It'd be fun to, uh, to hang out with David Lee Roth. He goes balls to the wall every He's party. He's got lots of props. He's got a lot of props. He got set design. A boat. Yeah, you, you get a you get a costume yeah. when you hang out with David. You get to do lots of fun pictures. Yeah, yeah. A farmer's daughter, Florida pavement, an angry father. Yeah, I don't know what, what. How do you guys feel after having seen something like this? <laughs> how do you feel, Dave? The first fifteen minutes, so. Distress, yeah, so yeah. Trying to figure out what the fuck is happening. It just keeps yeah. going. It's so bizarre. Yeah. It makes no yeah. sense. There's no intro, really. It's just him beginning There's with no the sword, intro. and it jumps violently. No scene. outro. There's person that has way too much money and just loves to fucking have a. Oh, ride. okay, We're okay. Over. Wow. All right, that was it. So shit. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. No. It, no. It just there, that was nothing. What... But about 45, yeah. 50 minutes in, like. All right, this like it'd be what we talked to you earlier. Like it just seems like they're like, yeah, we got to hang out with and party with. But yeah, <sighs> where's the content? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's it's like a, it's like an unfinished product kind of. Yeah, you but know what is he trying to sell? They say it's, like, it's a yeah exactly. They say it's a press kit, but like what, what? is he selling? Is he yeah. selling not a and why is crazy he's, enough to he carry? He is selling himself. <laughs> he's selling himself yeah, for sure. Exactly. <laughs> We don't fuck around. Yeah, but like, yeah, what is... Which record company has the highest insurance? Yeah, yeah. Can, yeah. We, can we cover this, man? Well, because like, again, it's 2002 that this is released, and like, everything seems like it fits in like, maybe 93, 94. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Any later than that, just living in the past, it just yeah, it's 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 like he's trying to connect with the youth, but the youth has already moved on 
from the the what he's trying to connect with. I know what you kids like. Yeah, he he like it's like he spent all of the '90s figuring out. I wonder why this is what the '90s meant, everything. and then by the time the it, like he actually did something about it, it was passed. It was, it was done. You missed the boat. Yeah. It's over. Um, and that's the thing that like probably looks the the is is the cringiest well, aspect of this. Well, he was doing that, bumps. He missed the bump. <laughs> <laughs> Like it, it's it's weird. It's almost more relevant right now than I think in 2002 when it came out. Because now we've had all this internet culture and Zoomer humor and the 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 you know uh, um what is it uh, uh, our attention span is is shorter. Right. You know, uh, yeah, like a million TikToks in a row. I saw a review maybe when we edit this, we can, but there was some review on a website that was said that this is like an hour long music video for the ADD set. <laughs> And I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. sounds about right. Yeah, if yeah. I, I mean, it's it's very frenetic and yeah, it's like if you keep on flipping between like VH1, MTV, and Fuse, and then just keep on back in the two mm. thousand, just keep on flipping between them, but not finish any videos. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I used to do that. It is it is kind of like a fever dream of music videos. I don't know how to feel about having watched this. I don't I don't know. What I, I've gained as far as my knowledge of David Lee no Roth. One, no one gained but... nothing during, during uh, this. Yeah. It's purely for entertainment. It meant nothing but yeah! <laughs> what does any of this mean? It's just so weird that this came out in Slap him, Dave. Yeah, yeah. Would you guys recommend it, do you think? No. Would you recommend people to watch it? Not at all. John says no. Not unless you're going to do a mound. A mound. <laughs> of, the, of Betty White. <laughs> all right. <laughs> If you're going to do that, <laughs> Betty White. and you got Rest time to kill, by all means, watch this, and yeah. you'll probably understand it better than any of us do. And then please yeah. call into our line. We, we, do, have it. we, we do have a line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. do that and then call hour. us. And please call one six zero eight hit nerd and tell us that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that uh, that's my final statement on it. I'm sorry. For I, this. Please, I, I, please. No, you're right. That. that that would make it. That would probably make it make a little more uh, a sense, and the yeah. pacing would maybe yeah. fit. Uh, Dave, what do you think? I would suggest it, but probably not the whole thing. Like, just check it out mm -hmm, for a little mm -hmm, bit. Just, mm -hmm. just get in the mind of yeah, David Lee yeah. Roth. Dave, the male mind. <laughs> yeah, really skip, get skip in around. There. Like, if you're getting a, getting bored, skip ahead like five minutes. Or if it's like a yeah. hanging out, like, yeah, hey, you guys want to like, pick like this a, up? I got something weird to show you. It's like a mad mm -hmm. porno. Oh, he's just spraying it all around. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Story of Dave's life. Yep. Mm -hmm. But also, I would yeah. love to know if he actually got any business out of this press kit. Did he ever get a tour for anything or a sign? Because the best I can I would think, love to so, know if anyone like saw this and went, "Yes, I mean, get this guy a contract right now." Here's the thing: I think the most he got out of it was like YouTube ad revenue because he's got like seven hundred thousand views on it, and I don't know. It is. It looks like it's his YouTube, so maybe he's getting. I'm saying like in O2, like I don't think. Out, I wonder if he got if there's. I'd be funny I feel like this might have been a big flop situation. So it turns out that David Lee Roth actually produced the No Holds Barbecue and put it onto VHS right before he went on tour with Sammy Hagar of all people. Now the tour was pretty successful for both of them, and Dave got a lot of hype out of it. He made a record of covers from this uh, era that was pretty successful for him but didn't get the greatest reviews and uh, he's done a lot of other stuff you should check out on wikipedia um but what about you nate what do you think would you would you recommend this one i would i kind of feel like dave i'd recommend it to anybody who wants to get a sense of it or just, just to skip through it. Wrong. but also if you're a fan of van halen i think you would enjoy yeah probably if you're a super fan of dave, david lee roth or van halen you would enjoy this because it's all you can eat Bay of <laughs> all you can eat and That's it's a lot true. of leg a lot, a lot of, of leg. the mojo dojo mm, a lot of the mojo dojo a lot of swords that's actually what it is it's the mojo dojo buffet yeah. and you'll get all those chicken wings yeah, yeah. i mean the sword the scene with legs. the sword scene with pete, mm. the pete seeger song was actually one of the most coherent of the, the one of the that scenes. looked like it was actually in a dojo you not yeah. in the street bob seeger bob yeah. seeger yeah yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. Where he has like a row, like a like a rack of swords, swords and, and he's like, like acting all 
like what he perceives a samurai to act like um <laughs> yeah. again, real real like middle schooler energy a couple of these scenes but um yeah as far as i i i would say put it on the back of a of a of a party you know don't necessarily watch it watch it but like you don't need to just watch it. attraction you just let need... it be on Every once in a while, you're going to notice something getting flicked in the wrong direction. You're going to be like, ah, what is that? You know, yeah, that's, yeah. That's It'll drag you really, back every now and again. That's what you need to pay ultimately, attention to. Ultimately, don't, maybe don't just sit and watch the whole thing. Because I, I know after doing like half of it, I was like, I need a break from this. We were about 20 <laughs> minutes in, I think. And then we yeah, were like, we've wait, had we're some time only 20 minutes I in. wanted to have a cigarette. Let me oh, go. yeah, 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 yeah. We were constantly wondering what time in the film it was. So, uh but yeah, yeah. If you're looking for just something weird, uh, yeah, definitely it's worth it's worth a look. Uh, thank you all for uh, uh, watching music movies tonight. That's gonna be it for tonight. And uh, next week we'll have another music movie for you guys. Uh, hopefully it'll be a little more coherent than the last few that we've done. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll get to it like a, a a real structured film next. Really? Week. I don't know. Can uh, we get one? Cheers. I don't know. We have some on the list, and it might be nice to change a pace to <laughs> to have something that was like thought pro of proper editing to the drunkest yes. film we're ever yeah. had probably <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah next Here's next time one. definitely something more coherent thank you all for joining us we'll see you guys next time get in line you sluts Woo! mojo dojo well it is in brazil ladies and gentlemen but it's a little bit better it's club day from the Mojo Dojo.